Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the flood and what the Bible says about it. And so, obviously, a lot of everybody knows about the flood. I mean, it's an explanation for, you know, a cataclysmic event um, of a restoring, of a resetting of the earth. And so I just want to explain what the flood is and why it happened. So, um, after creation, mankind soon sinned. Um, the first murder, Cain killed his brother Abel, and it was the first murder. Um, but after that, for most part, mankind was faithful to God, but eventually mankind began to drift away and go its own way and, and they forgot the Lord. And at this point in time, there was nobody that believed in God and had any faith in God and everybody was just doing their own thing. I mean, people were killing each other, stealing. There was just no rule of law. And, you know, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it's, it's not like how we live in now. And so God saw the lawlessness and how people were not having any faith. And he decided there would be a reset. And he found one man and his family out of all mankind that still believed and still had faith in God. And he was a descendant of Adam. And so this man, Noah... Um, God called upon him to create an ark. And if you didn't know, and a lot of people will hear, a lot of people are like, well, you know, mankind doesn't live almost a thousand years. That's true. But these were times when things were a lot different. And it's not unheard of that somebody has lived over a hundred years or 120 years. So in modern history, these people have lived well over a hundred years. So... Essentially, uh, and I'll explain that later, but mankind used to live for a very long time, uh, relatively speaking, earthwide. And Noah was, and the technology back then, we obviously not technology, but the methods of building were a lot different. Something like an ark now would probably be easy compared to back then. So it took at least couple hundred years to actually build the ark. And so Noah built the ark with his family and um, they got two of every kind of animal and species and that's history right there. That's, that's everything that happened with the flood and the rain came upon and, and the floods and everything from, you know, a cave on the ground to the top of the highest mountain would be covered with water. And um, so all mankind was washed away right there because they did not believe. They had no faith and they were running around doing whatever the heck they wanted. And there was only one man, his family, and his children's wives that, you know, had actual faith. And so the reset happened. At this point, Noah's children gave birth to, you know, wh where we are now. They were descendants of Ham, Shem, and Japheth. So, they all kept uh, having children, and the population soon restored. And that's the basic for the flood. That's what happened. And over time, of course, mankind you know, still live for a very long time, but um, eventually God said, you know, I'm going to set the maximum to 120 around that. And that's where we are now. And mankind lives for around, around that area. So other thing that happened with the flood is that afterward, you know, everybody spoke the same language. Everybody was kind of, you know, mankind didn't really develop, you know, a different cultures or any of that. It was 
So everybody was in one area, and they all decided, you know, we're going to build a tower. We're going to do something. And, you know, it's a lot of people nowadays say, hey, well, maybe it's not that bad if we all just came together and built something. That's right. But what they were going to do is it was probably going to turn into something. Somebody was going to take power, and they were going to just, just make everybody uh, astray like before. And when God saw that they were all just connected and they were all trying to build their own, like a, their own kingdom, he said, well, I told you to scatter upon the earth. They didn't scatter upon the earth. So he confounded the language of mankind and they couldn't understand each other because the dialects. And that's what created the formations of modern languages now. So everybody just... Went one way, went the other, went here and there and everywhere. And that's when, you know, population zones started forming. And we have the ancient versions of uh, modern, you know, society now, what it led to. Of course, um, at that time, people were very faithful. Um, as we know that time goes by and there's going to be peoples that fall and then there's peoples that you know, continue going, and, and that's just the history of the world. And at this point now, it's just a melting pot of, you know, just individually uh, who believes and who doesn't. Um, but that's basically the flood, and um, and um, this history continues to this day. And for better understanding of ancient history and, you know, or our origins of mankind, uh, I'd like for you to, you know, well, read the Bible because a lot of people are, don't want to read because they think it's just a bunch of fairy tales. But when you get down to it, I mean, I know a lot of people are just, you know, it's, it's just I can't, who begot who begot who, but... It really is, if you keep looking and you keep reading, you'll find that everything that you see as normal in this life is explained one way or another in the Bible, and you're going to find how to make yourself a better person out of it and have a better relationship with God, which a lot of people tend to not believe. Um, but you really can find something out of the Bible by reading it. I mean, I found something. I know I, know I was born... Um, I was born with it, but it's really important, especially today, that people read the Bible and truly understand um, everything that's to be found. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'd like to say please read the Bible, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.